a leading fabric familiar to all, is cotton. Broadcloth, one of the most common of cotton fabrics, is a close, plain weave. Chintz is usually printed in a large design using many colors in plain or satin weave. Corduroy is a durable fabric made in a wide range of weights, colors, and finishes with narrow or wide lengthwise whales or ridges on a plain or twill base. Cotton flannel or flannelette, a plain or twill weave, is noted for its softness and absorbency and comes in various weights. One of the basic cotton fabrics is denim, a plain twill weave which is strong and durable. Then there is sateen, a cotton fabric which comes in various weights and is very often mercerized. These are only a few basic cotton fabrics of the many that are available today. As you learn to sew, study the materials you work with, check labels, and know the fabrics and facts about them. Cloth is a fabric made of fibers. When starting to work with fabric, it is important to know how to prepare material for sewing. The grain of the material is any line which is along a thread. There is the crosswise grain and the lengthwise grain. Any line which is not on the grain of the fabric is called a bias. At a 45 degree angle to both grains, a line is a true bias. When cloth is cut along the grain, this leaves a raw edge. A raw edge is any edge that can ravel or fray. A torn or raw edge is known by its fuzzy appearance. Thread will ravel all the way across a torn or raw edge. Cloth is easily stretched and pulled out of shape. This often happens during the finishing processes. When cloth is cut off the bolt, the threads are no longer at right angles. The threads are said to be off grain. The thread may not run along the raw edges. In other words, they're not thread perfect. To make the material thread perfect, straighten the fabric ends on a flat surface and snip the selvage close to the fabric. The selvages are the two finished edges of the material. Now unravel a crosswise thread and very gently pull it. It affects the cloth all along a straight line. Work the thread through to the other edge of your fabric. It's important to keep hands clean, especially in this type of work, as you'll be handling material over and over again. Now cut carefully along the drawn line. Remember, it is important to cut evenly and to keep the part that's being cut as close to the flat surface as possible. Learn to handle scissors easily. Cut with long, firm strokes, never quite closing the blades, and keep your fingers at a safe distance from the blade. Also take good care of scissors. Use them only for cutting fabric. They're an essential sewing accessory. If the fabric is firmly woven and crosswise thread is difficult to pull, carefully snip the selvage, then tear the material from selvage to selvage.
Turn the piece of material around, take the other side, and follow the same procedure of snipping the selvage, then ripping it right across. Now fold it flat on the table and test the grain. The piece of cloth will form a perfect rectangle if it is on grain. If the double raw edges do not meet, the fabric is off grain. If it is only slightly off grain, pull it from the short corner along the true bias, that is the line at a 45 degree angle to the crosswise and lengthwise threads. Often steam pressing can straighten material that is off grain. Set the steam iron for steam pressing. Place the fabric on the ironing board and fold it so that the lengthwise and crosswise threads are crossing at right angles and the edges are even. Now pin it along the edges so that the edges remain even. It'll be sufficient to place the pins about four inches apart. There must be pins at both corners along the frayed edges. Pressing is not ironing. Pressing is lifting up and setting down the iron in a different position. The heat and pressure method, such as is being used, is simply to soften the material by steam and to command the direction of the fabric by the pressure on it. Before pressing the final section of the material, make sure it is flat on the ironing board. Then bring the iron close to the fold without covering it. If the fold is pressed, there will be a crease. When the pinned fabric lies flat and smooth on the board, and the lengthwise and crosswise threads are crossing at right angles, you know that your fabric is grain perfect. The first step in joining together two pieces of material is to learn how to pin them properly. Handling the material may have stretched it, so check the fabric grain. If the raw edges do not come together, the fabric grain is not true. It is off grain. To straighten it, pull from the short corner and bring the edges together. You may have to do a little more pulling and arranging, but the corners must fit well together. They must be grain perfect. The folded material must be perfectly straight and flat before starting to pin. Use dressmaker pins to pin the material. Also use a thimble on the middle finger of the working hand. This helps to push the pins more easily through the fabric once they are lined up. Notice how closely the thimble follows upon the fingers guiding the pin. Keep the material flat. Run the pins through the material so that they're perpendicular to the line of stitching. As sewing skill progresses, every seam pinned will be done in this way, with the pins perpendicular to the seam line. Straight, accurate seams result in fashions that fit.